we want to get started with our meditation time. So, um, let's do that. I see. I see. Well, I'd like to start off. I was really impressed with the, the breathing exercise that, uh, if I can say her name, Sister Saraswati. 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 All right, that she was sharing with us about uh, expanding the abdomen, allowing your diaphragm to recede, and allowing your lungs to feel. Uh, so I would uh, just ask us to do uh, uh, three of those. Inhale, allow your abdomen to extend. Get that air going all the way to the bottom of your lungs and then let it out. And inhale again. Focus on your middle of your abdomen near your heart. Let that out. And once again, Expand that abdomen, bring the air in all the way up to the tops of your lungs, near your shoulders. And give thanks for that energy, that love that comes from the most high. Um, I would like to share my screen. Can everyone see that? Yes. All right. So yes. I'm in Ra. I'm in Ra meditation. And we're going to begin with expressing the words that are at the top. Maybe you need to repeat after me if you don't know how to say them already. Iwi Hena Ek. Eru Nib Amin Ra Erma Neferu Ek. Let me be one with thee every day, Amin Ra, so I might see your beauties, your sacred beauties. And the next one is Amin Ra In Yi Ker Ek. Amin Ra, I come. To be. So we're going to begin with uh, focusing on the budding reed leaf in this symbol for the Most High, Amin Ra, that communicates to us not only the name Amin Ra, but significantly of the, the character of Amin Ra. And as this is laid out with the, uh, the human anthropomorphic symbol at the right at the end, it's saying to us, this energy, this force is not just something separate from us, but it's a power within us. And it's calling on us to cultivate this energy, this power, this spirit within ourselves and put it to use in our lives. And it's reflected in a, uh, a section that comes from a Yikwe Arma when he shares with us his understanding. There is indeed a great force in the world, a force spiritual and able to change the physical universe, but that force is not something cut off, something separate from ourselves. It's an energy in us, strong in our working, thinking, breathing together as one people, weakest when we are scattered, confused, broken into individual, unconnected fragments. So we don't want to be those scattered, broken, individuals, we want to be that unified people in whom, through whom, this spirit that's able to change the universe whoo, is working in and through us. And so as we focus on the budding reed leaf, we have this meditative expression. 
but it really brings to us the, the ah sound in Amin Ra, ah. Wow. And it, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's uh, communicates that Amin Ra is the great spirit of life, the one having the power to become the many. And then each of us needs to recognize that we are amongst those that the Most High has decided to come uh, into being as. We were part of the many. And so this meditative expression there, we can say it together. Divine Holy Spirit, great spirit of life, your sacred essence within calls me to live the sacred life, the life of truth and justice, balance and harmony, righteousness, divine right order, and reciprocity in every cell and fiber of this temple that I be, always be sept heavy in me. Always be sept heavy in me. You know, when we discuss meditation and prayer, we, we say that prayer is like talking to God and meditation is listening to the Most High. So I just wanna share with you as we go through this, uh, what I have heard and maybe you can appreciate from the most high. I am in you, related to the budding reed leaf, I am in you. And you can be one with me if you cultivate the presence of my sacred essence in your life. Energy for divinity in all you say and do. I am the breath of life breathing in you, the rhythms of life pulsating in you the love of life calling life into being. Your mission is to love life. Let no one, let nothing convince you that life is not worth living. Your life and all of life, for no one and nothing lacks some of my being. I am in you. And as we reflect on those words, just Take another one of those breaths, expanding your abdomen, letting your lungs fill up with that energy, of love and beauty for the most high. And let it flow out. Taking all the remnants of this that might try to hang on to you. We want to take our attention to the uh, Senet game board, just to the right of the budding relief. And the Senet game board communicates to us the men sound in Amen. And Senet was a game that was uh, popular in Amen. But to be uh, good at that game, you had to know you had to know the symbols, the teachings, the spirit of uh, our sacred way. And by which, uh, more importantly than just playing the game of Sinet, of Sinet on the board, you had to play the game of life according to those principles, according to those symbols, according to the teachings. And so as we focus on that game board and that reality, that calling, this is in, including uh, our desire to be one with the Holy One, not only through this span of life, but through all of eternity. We have this expression, spirit of eternity, intelligence and creativity. I pray that the life I lead, endeavoring always to honor the spirit of Mark, the teachings and virtues of our sacred way in my thoughts and words and actions that that will allow me to be one with thee one of thee in the kingdom of eternity when the day and hour of transition visits my temple be always be happy in me and in response to that request, these words have come to me and perhaps can resonate with you. I am in you, 
I am the dimension of eternity entrusted unto you. I am the power to shape your destiny with intelligence and creativity. Let no fear, no ignorance or superstition or values or temptations fetter you down to short-term pleasures or momentary treasures. Let no one, let nothing lead you to forsake the powers of Kuji Chagodir that I have entrusted unto you. For you are to desire to name, create, and speak for yourself. I am in you. And once again, let's breathe, allowing our abdomens to expand, the fresh flow of the energy of the breath of life, fill our lungs, bottom to top and release as we move on to the rippling water below the Sinead game board. You know, the rippling water is a phonetic complement which serves to add emphasis to the in sound in the name Amen. That in sound is known to be the, the sound of the energy of the Most High doing the work of creation. It serves to remind us and emphasize for us that the work of creation is ongoing with the continued flow of the sacred breath of life. So with that in mind, we have this meditative expression. Let's read that, say it, feel it together. Divine generosity, holy sacred sovereignty, thanks and praises for the sacred measure of septepi essence that flows within every breath of life, your continuing call to one and all to rise up and be one with, with thee, one of thee, every hour of every day. Always be Septepi in me. And in response to that request, you might hear and feel and appreciate these words, I am in you. My energy, my spirit, my heart and consciousness have moved and continue to move throughout the universe, giving unto each being that I call into being a sufficient measure of my essence to be and become what my heart desires. And you, the humankind, have received most abundantly the essence of divinity. I am in you. Your mission is to let no one and nothing fetter you with the idea that you're too small to make an infinitely significant difference, nor can you ever be too large in your material or spiritual life that you should not trouble yourself, extend yourself to those less fortunate than yourself. To whom much is given, much is expected. Share that which you have, for that which is yours is a gift from nature, the gift from God. I am in you. And so let's breathe again, expanding our abdomen, allowing that breath of life, of love, of energy coming from the most high to fill our lungs, fill our hearts and minds. Now we're going to move on to the mouth. To the mouth.
And the, mar the mouth is uh, a symbol that communicates to us that our sound is Ra. It also denotes the entire seeing, hearing, breathing, receiving, declaring, creating process that's communicated to us in the creation of uh, by the creation of Pata as Ra, Ra as Pata, and meant by theology. It serves to remind and inspire us that these same powers have been entrusted unto us, by which to bring into being the community of truth and love with family, with loved ones, and ultimately with all the world. And so, for the mouth, we have this meditative expression. In me, let your heart arise with love and mock energize, power to perceive and analyze that which comes through the seeing of my eyes and the hearing of my ears and the breathing of my nostrils, power to perceive and realize that which is and that which ought to be for the greatest good of family and community in all dimensions of life. That the words of my mouth always reflect that sacred creative reality and add to the energy of family and community to work together for our greatest good. Always be Septepi in me. And in response to that request, these words might resonate with you. I am in you. Your mission is to control your thoughts and control your actions, beginning with the actions of your tongue. Let no one, let nothing lead you to believe that it's okay to utter the garbage of life or to allow words of deception or deprecation to proceed from your lips. Make sure the network of mott is engaged before putting your mouth into motion. Don't let your mouth write a check that your soul will not be able to redeem when you come to the bank of truth and justice. Let not your heart and mind entertain the clutter and fetters of visions of sounds and energies that would lead to words and actions that would undermine the mission of mind in you, and in the community of truth and love, I am in you. And so let's once again inhale as we allow our abdomens to extend, allow our lungs to fill up with that energy, that love, that power that comes from the most high. And as we exhale, give thanks. Okay, now we need to move on to the forearm and the hand. That communicates to us the ah sound in ra. It represents the full range of creative acts and blessings that come forth from the hands, so to speak, of the most high giving, receiving, setting of limits, opening of new vistas, serves to remind and inspire those who revere the image and essence of nature within to be unceasing and turning our hands to the deeds and actions that create, protect, and perpetuate the community of truth and love. Uh, so in that context, we utter this meditative expression that every cell and fiber, every muscle and bone of the temple that I presently know as home be ready, willing, and able to work diligently with family and community to establish and maintain that which provides for our greatest good. Always be Septepi in me. And in response, you might hear something like this, I am in you. 
and the power of diligent commitment to the commands and standards of Mott in every cell and fiber of your being in all things, in the actions of your arms and hands, in the motion of your legs, in the movement of every member of your body, in every work, in every fellowship, all crafts, every endeavor, in every vocation, in all things. Allow no one and nothing to fetter you with the idea that it's your thing to do what you want to do. It's not your thing. It's our thing. I am in it with you always. I am in you. Once again, we can inhale. Let that abdomen extend. The lungs be open to the full flow of life and love from the most high. And exhale any negativity that might endeavor to invade our being. Clock runs too fast here. Okay, we need to take our attention to the solar disk. The solar disk. It's a, it plays no sound, no role in the sound of this of this word, of this name, of this reality. But it serves to clarify that we are indeed referencing the most high, referencing Amin Ra, um, the great spirit of life that manifests its presence through the purpose and the powers of the sun. And so we, in that context, have this meditative expression. Let your light shine on me until my heart is truly free, free to live as one with thee here and now and for all eternity. Always be set happy in me. And in response to that request, you might hear something like this. I am in you. The measure of my love and compassion that you are able to command, I have given unto you. And that reality is represented in the power and beauty of the sun and the sky. Its rays shower you with the warmth of my desire that you would desire to be one with me and the power to bring that desire to full fruition. I am in you. That's once again, as we are running out of time, breathe in that breath of life and let it flow as we give thanks to the Most High. But finally, we have this anthropomorphic being symbol that again represents what we read and understand from Brother Yikwe Armour that this power is within us, it's within our ancestors. And so uh, we have this meditative expression, divine creator, strong liberator, sacred ancestors, eternal parents and elders, in the spirit of truth, love and beauty that flows from your hearts and souls, inspire, encourage and empower me and mine to do as you have done to diligently do all we can to make life more beautiful and beneficial for the here and now and for generations beyond. Imagination always be septepi in me. And in response to those requests, you might hear words like this. I am in you. Your mission is to be one with your sacred ancestors and doing all you can and in every way you can to be one with me. Never allow any power in the universe to lead you to neglect and disrespect those ancestors for to do so is to neglect and disrespect my presence in you in an extremely crucial and an extremely critical way. Pour libations with your heart and soul, honor these sacred ancestors. Let the energy of their eternal reality inspire and strengthen you in our quest to better the feathers, our quest to hasten the day when all the world will, will rejoice in the love of my heart and soul. I am in you. Looking at this clock, we have to take another breath. 
and let that breath out. Give thanks and praises for this day of life, health and strength. 